What's up guys? <laughs> Welcome to my hotel room in Antwerp. This is the Radisson Hotel. I think it's a pretty common hotel and it's, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna be sleeping here. My brother, which I invited today, but because I, I don't know, it was it's a pretty cool experience. I invited him today and he's gonna be sleeping here, so taking care of, of that. Um, I'm happy, I'm so happy, I'm so excited, oh my... <gasps> like, you know, it, it, till the, the day comes, you get nervous and nervous and you have to prepare a bunch of things, but when the day actually comes, and I start to listen to music and to imagine how cool it's gonna be, it's so exciting! So, I don't know, I'm super happy, I'm super excited to to, to rock this concert. Uh, there's gonna be so many artists, so many, so many big, big, big artists, and I have a lot of responsibilities to do, a lot of things to do, but... I'm gonna be able to, to nail it all, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at my job, so I got this. Um, I'm staying two nights at this hotel instead of one, because there was a misunderstanding with the reservation, but well, it is what it is, I'm just gonna have to sleep here and real quick get back to Brussels so I can get back to work, because if you know anything about, if, if you know anything about like concert uh, and festival videography, everything has to be done instantly like you it's not like a production that takes a month stuff like that for me to give the 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 final product no I, I have to give it the next day because think it like this in my case everything is an opportunity like uh, okay i'm working for rampage but i also want to have the opportunity to get my content out there for all the artists that means i have to give my shots before all the other videographers as soon as possible to all the artists and give me a chance to well get my videos out there, you know? So that means I have to, to in the first couple of hours, uh, export as many videos as I can, send them to the artist, and then start to do a couple of TikToks, do the, um, do the YouTube video that I want to do for my channel. So it's a lot of work, very fast, and there's no time to waste. It's gonna be like a week of editing. It's gonna be quite tough, but I'm gonna get through it. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be epic. Um, I'm just excited, I'm happy. You know, the couple of, the last couple of days, if you've seen the vlog, I've been eh, emotionally, but today I feel I feel amazing, and and you have to feel good for these things because my job as a TikTok creator for Rampage is to interact with everyone and everything and to create fun content. So if I'm not having a good time, if I'm not giving a good positive energy, people will feel that and they won't be able to give me a comfortable imagery. And it's very important to do that. This connects to, to another ideology that when you are in parties or clubs, the best, I believe that the best way to, if you want to flirt or seduce anyone or, have, uh, like, or get what you want, is to have a good time. It's not to, be, to have good catchphrases or, or, or look amazing. It's to have a good time and this energy will get contagious to people. And it's the same with with interacting with DJs or or, or um, clients. You if, you if you look like you're having a good time and you look happy, people will con be contagious to that and they will feel more comfortable to get around you. So that's my, uh, that's my, my take into that. And also, when I film people in, in concerts, I, what I do is um, I dance. I dance, I party, I am one of the soldiers, the Rampage soldiers, the, the, the audience. I am one of them. And when when it's I'm in the front stage, which is between the the audience and the stage, there's a little gap where you can go film. That's the front stage. You, I, what I like to do is as as I'm filming to dance with people and make them like motivating to go harder to to break their their necks uh, with some hand banging, banging because. If I just if I'm just a camera, yeah, they will still have a good time. But if I'm also moving that it gets contagious to the camera movement because the camera energy has to reflect what the people are feeling and also the people get way more comfortable to, to go nuts because you're going nuts, you know, you're, you're contagious so as you can see, hear in my voice, I'm very excited, I'm very excited so now I have, uh, it's 2.30 um, in the afternoon, my brother will come sooner or later 
Um, I'm just now uh, in the final towers. I need to make sure everything in my in my equipment is ready for shooting, and the batteries are ready. The the stabilizers, the microphones, everything should be ready because I don't want to have a mistake there because I just count on myself for this project. And uh, well, that's, that's, that's pretty much it, I'm so excited. Today is the wall of death. The master hand, master hand, it's, it's, master hand is, is this group like of the three biggest dubstep DJs in the world. It's uh, Eptic, Sudden Death and Space Lasers, if I'm not mistaken, and they're Incredibly big, incredibly hard, and they're making this trio where they combine their music, and it's gonna be the main event. The main ah, artist, and I managed to 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 connect with Rampage and organize the biggest wall of death in history so so we're we're gonna make the biggest wall of death in history are we yes we're going for the world record of the biggest wall of death ever uh, we're gonna do it with master hand uh, a fabulous trio uh, existing out of yeah sudden death epic uh, space lasers oh. uh, i think I'm getting yeah. shivers just listening to that. It's like, it's like the biggest dubstep uh, DJs in the world. <laughs> I don't know. It, this is amazing. This is great. And it's happening. It's it's getting prepared, and I'm very excited to see if we manage to do it. Because after all, even if you prepare the visuals, the music, the the moment, you never know what the people will do. Maybe they will get scared and not do it. But my goal is to have the entire venue from top to bottom just splitting out and destroying each other in a friendly way always a friendly way my intention is not for people to get hurt it's just for people to to go nuts so um, let's hope everybody get, keeps safe and and everything goes well this is very exciting i don't know like to, to, to feel like th there's the possibility that i if, if everything goes well and no one gets hurt if that i organized the biggest wall of death in history I don't know, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, because also I used to do it, you know, like when I was in school, there was uh, this um, two weeks, no, one week of, it was the art week, which uh, during the, the five days of school, there was every day a little concert in the, where you have the recess, and it, it was very fun because the, the day of rock, people would get nuts and do mosh pits in the school, and they were small, but they were so aggressive. That's where I started to see that and I was like, they're, they're, fuck, they're nuts. But because you're in front of your friends and you want to be cool and like, and you go there and you, and you get hurt. Uh, in Mexico it was quite aggressive, more aggressive than here because they were kids and they didn't know what they were doing. But, but it was it, like, I was organizing that when I was 16, 15, uh, nine, 17 in my school. And now to be organizing this, it's like, this is so cool, I don't know, I'm so excited. But well, now I need to prepare everything and then head to Rampage. So I think the next shot will be in the venue before everybody arrives and I start to, to see everything, how it's built, the behind the scenes and, and all of that. See if there's a couple of DJs where I can interact and make some short content beforehand so I can make some cool transitions between the an empty venue and a full venue and make it look cool. You know, I have to do so many videos. It's a bit scary sometimes because you know I'm just a man, I'm just a guy. Like yeah, I do cool videos and, and I have some knowledge in, into videography, but at the end I'm just a dude that I guess it's overconfident <laughs> or or just uh, acts like it's confidence and end up still doing it. Sometimes I feel like ah I don't know what I'm doing, but I trust myself and I just go through it and every time it works out. So. When you feel scared about yourself and what you're capable of, sometimes just blindly trust yourself and see and, and see that you solve every problem that comes in front of you. So that's what we're gonna do for two days till six from from seven in the afternoon to six in the morning. Nearly twelve hours of straight work plus the editing. It's a non-stop work. Like it, it is, it is hard work. 
but it is also the most epic job thing ever. So, very excited about it. All right, see you in the Sport Palace. So behind me is the Sport Palace. We're ready. <laughs> it's like we're like two hours before, so I can shoot a bunch of things beforehand. But uh, I'm very excited. It's gonna be massive. Okay, this is my first look with in how it looks. Have you seen it? Oh my god, it's so big! Oh, well, you can't see, but it's, it's ginormous. This is very big. This is very epic. This is very exciting. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. You can't see me, but it's very exciting. Every time I get to be here again, I still become again a little kid that sees concerts and is like, oh my god, this is so cool! You know, like, maybe you've seen it in other videos of mine, but uh, I used to go to festivals sometimes when I managed to get an opportunity to go to festivals and and I would film it with my phone because that was the only thing that I had at the time. So I would I would do vlogs with that. And now I get to be, get paid to do this. This is so cool. <laughs> so if the only lesson that I can give you with this is that if you keep on trying for very, very long and you ask and you offer yourself, not physically, <laughs> like don't, don't offer your body, but like if you offer your services, and you give the clients a reason why to take you compared to other people, you can get anywhere. It's just persistence. Keep on trying, keep on trying, keep on trying, keep on trying for very, very long and you get to whatever you want to be. Just be patient. But it takes work. But um, we're here. Look at this. This is so cool. <laughs> Let's continue. I have to get to work. I have to start making a bunch of, a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, bunch of uh, little shorts. So. Let's get to work. I have many ideas and I have to keep my head very, very sharp because I have to I have to wiggle. No, I have to handle many, many videos at the same time. I have to do like hundreds of videos. So I need to get to work and start making interviews and start making a bunch, a bunch of content as much as I possibly can because that's why I'm here. Because I try to give them as much as I possibly can. And you should do that too. If you have a client that you like, Maybe not the ones that you don't like that much, but the ones that you like, give them your all. Give them 120% because if not, there will be always someone that will take your, your spot. You know, there, that's the thing with these things. There's so many people that would love to do this that the competition is quite high. So if you, if you come here lazy and you get comfortable, they will kick you out. They don't care. No one cares about you. You're just a number. And if you don't provide value, they will kick you out. So very important to give your all. Anyways, you can't see me right now, but let's get to work. Bye-bye. I already started interacting with some DJs and it's very cool. I don't know, I, I'm getting in the mood, I'm getting in the energy to make them feel comfortable and make myself feel comfortable around them. It's very cool, it's very epic. It's very exciting, guys, because we have like 10 cameras to shoot the wall of that. So we have every single angle. So it looks big, it looks massive, it looks epic. So it, it's gonna be very exciting. I'm preparing everything getting everybody more or less in the same mindset so everybody's ready for the moment now the only part that is lacking is that like when it's gonna happen i still don't know and i haven't seen the visuals i haven't seen the audio yet because that's the artists that i'm gonna that are gonna be doing that so a bit stressful but let's hope it works i'm very excited very very excited all right we just started the doors are open and the madness starts Woo! it's still good to be true I met this guy, he's 55 and he's been raving for 40 years. It's yeah, it's gonna, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a 245. Uh, we, we won't have like the drone from up top, where we have like the crane and the uh, LED screens will move down from the ceiling. So when the crowd like goes from yeah. left to right, then the LED screen will, will move down in the middle of the crowd yeah. and then it will rise up again and then the crane will go over and to oh. the above point of view. It's gonna be so yeah. epic, but okay, so the crane can do the top shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but right, not, right. it's, 
not precisely gonna be like the the inspiration we had in mind. Okay, good. Can we make also sure that there's a fire and compete or like something like a? I will manage that right now. Thank you. <laughs> Are you ready for the biggest wall of death in history? Master Hand, the first dubstep boy band. I will be there in the middle, dancing in the wall of goddamn death. That's where I will be. That's where I'm at. Let's fucking go, bitch. I'll see you there, bitch. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> If someone asks you if you want to climb in their shoulders, you always say yes. I wanted to make sure the wall of that would work, so I asked 15 of the biggest guys to help me do it. There to there, all the way. We're gonna make a moment right now. We're gonna fucking do a wall of death, the biggest one ever done here in Rampage. So I need all your motherfuckers to split it all the way the fuck down the middle. Thank <laughs> you. 